grocery or gas station or something with because you slip and slide around. I was going to say, Lauren, I bought, the bike I bought a year ago, I bought it with clips, and I went right from being right here, you know, to being in Bay has been there for all my falls, so. <laughs> but when I go to break, I unclip. That, that's just how I figured it out, because if I'm gonna touch the brake, I'm gonna unclip one of my shoes, so I'm not falling yeah. that's, okay. that's, a great, that's a great way to think about it. Too. <laughs> it is, when I first got them, they were really tight, and I took them back and they loosened up, because I was, sometimes I couldn't even undo one of my yeah. shoes. But they, they can loosen them like, Not as much as you think, but it could be. In town, the trails are more, more stop and go. Yeah. So. How do you, for the ladies who commute to work, how do you handle uh, helmet hair and, and <laughs> sweat and all that? What do you do with that? tip I have and I experimented both with you know taking a taking a messenger bag like this and packing all my clothes um, this and that kind of does work you can have messenger bags around or a backpack the backpack on your back it's kind of hot and sweaty so that's kind of not so fun so the messenger bag is kind of nice uh, for that reason you know Doug's got a rack here he can put his stuff in a bag on there uh, the one thing I found though is my, my commute depending on which way I go uh, it's either five miles or six miles, so I can, can vary it if I need to. Uh, I found I can do a lot of it. If I'm wearing some of this uh, moisture wicking, you know, sportier shirts like the golf shirts and stuff that I have, it's not too bad. Um, I, I use my straps to strap my ankles, just this one pant leg. I change my shoes. So one thing I, the only thing I do, instead of using this big bag, I'll just use one of these smaller bags, and it's so light, and I just put my pair of shoes um, in this, and my, I switch my dress shoes out, get to work, and I can just switch. Now, the, the one piece I will say that I did learn, as odd as this may sound, you want to go buy some nice underwear. I found that don't go, don't wear your cotton underwear. You want to go buy, you don't have to buy Under Armour, but if there are some nicer underwear out there that are more moisture wicking, and you will be amazed how fresher you'll feel and how it dry, you know, dries quicker. I mean, honestly, that's the one thing I would say. I don't have the hair issue, so I'm okay. Um, I may have marks from my helmet, but um, so you can really simply, I found that if you don't ride too hard, too fast, and you can wear your dress clothes, just strap your pant leg. I do both. 
because you definitely want to do the chain side, which is why you see people roll up one pant leg. But strap them with these, put on your helmet, put on a pair of gloves, and just maybe something, a small bag like this with just your shoes. It's pretty easy. Dumb question, the gloves are in case you were to fall? The gloves are just more comfortable in case you fall, yes. Now, this morning I needed these heavy winter gloves to keep my hands warm. These are, these are kind of cool. But, um, for the most part, these gloves are in case you fall, but they're also for to keep your hands, um, they got a lot of padding to keep your hands from going numb. So if you don't switch your hand positions a lot, these are great because they have um, some gel in them and they just keep your hands from getting numb. The road bikes are nice because they have multiple hand positions, um, but you got like a straight bar, you got one hand position, so your hands may get numb. Yeah, if you do fall, you're not still cut up. So. Other questions? How long did that 108 miles take you? 108 miles? I mean, miles? you, but an average person. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that 108 miles, we average, we average 20 miles an hour. I got a screenshot of my Garmin. Um, we average, actually average 19.9 miles per hour. So 100 miles typically at 20 miles an hour is gonna be five hours. So. We did one down to, uh, well we just went, a buddy of mine, I went down to Nebraska City, stopped at the subway, had lunch, turned around, came back. Uh, you know, I think we left at about 7 o'clock and we were back by 3.30. But it was, you know, we weren't really pushing it really hard. But it was fun. I know we're about short on time. When you talk about how you can prep for a long ride like that, I've noticed, like, I'm a real novice rider, and there's been times where I'm like, I'm going to ride 30 miles today, and it's like I didn't do the appropriate things the day before to set my body up to ride 30 miles. Yeah. Uh, with, you know, um, hydrate. Easy, hydrate. Yeah, easy rides around here, you kind of work up to it. So go out 77 to Princeton and come back, you know, and then go out 77 to Cortland and, and stop. We are, people usually just stop the shop and go there or whatever and have a candy bar or whatever and then turn around and come back. Or go to uh, Bennett and turn around and come back and then turn and get to Palmyra and turn around and come back. So you just kind of build up to distance wise, uh, you know, just bite it off in little chunks and, and or, you know, I used to ride out the Mopac and thought Walton was a a long ride, and I, I'd go to Walton and back, you know, and then I'd go a little bit further, I'd go out to uh, Oreos Golf Course and come back, and then I'd start going all the way out to Eagle and coming back. So, you know, just work at it, and work up to it, and, uh, you know, don't overdo it, just it's enjoy It's really it. important to load your body of potassium, that kind of thing. Do you ride on the highway? Yes. Yeah. Just on the shoulder. shoulder. The shoulders are great. They're real wide. And the shoulders are really great on Highway 2 and 77, and they've got rumble strips. Um, so, you know, I have thousands and thousands of miles on our shoulders around Lincoln. So, yeah, so it's. But there's also over uh, 130 miles of trails just in Lincoln. I, I do a, a, a trail that starts near Holmes Lake, and I go all the way out to uh, Menards. And, and then all the way down to Southwest, and then all the way out to downtown, and then all the way out to 84th, and then back to my house, about 28 miles. But that's all in town. And, uh, you know, it's just one big loop. So you can do that. Go as far as you want, or go as little as you want. Yeah. 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 Tell you the other good place, like I mentioned earlier, was the gravel roads. Believe it or not, riding gravel is a blast. I know Karen shake her head. <laughs> it's just it's 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 the quietest and the most beautiful. I mean, it's it's really and it's really getting really really popular, uh, which is why I mean that's that bike right there is specifically made for that. Uh, so that's what they they're, they're huge. It's getting huge now, so it's just a lot of fun. Something different. So can you talk a little bit about? Um, like if you're saying you want to grab a road or a certain place that you want to ride, like transporting your bike to those places, or you can bike that um, I, These two bikes came here on my roof rack, on my Jeep. Um, we also have a hitch mount, um, a toolie that you can set your bike on to hold your, hold your frame and hold five bikes. Um, so 
depends on your vehicle, what you have. The roof mount is great, except the front wheel has to come off. Uh, you don't want to drive into your garage. <laughs> and um, you have to get it up on top. So the hitch mount ones are nice because it keeps it low. I don't have to take any wheels off. I'm just strapping it on the top too. Would you recommend, I know that there's a front of the vehicle one and back of the vehicle one. Be on the rear. Yeah. Uh, I, I've got a SARS one that's the, the three middle three bikes, and I can strap into any in the back end of any of my cars, so it's very portable. Okay. And, uh, got enough I think the hitch mounts are probably hitch trunk and rear mounts are probably the best. Yeah. Well, good. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for coming today. Thank you. It was great to have you.